Microsoft is bringing data loss prevention in Microsoft Purview controls to Copilot for Microsoft 365. That's a mouthful. If you want to know more about what this means, stay tuned. So in this new tech community article from Microsoft.com, we can see that Purview data loss prevention in Microsoft 365 Copilot is getting some new features. This all relates to potential data oversharing due to incorrect permissions. Uh, this has always been an area of risk for organizations and the speed at which Gen AI can access and use data further amplifies this risk. So previously, Microsoft had announced the public preview of Purview DLP for M365 Copilot web chat to help further reduce the risk of AI-related oversharing at scale by preventing Copilot from using files with specific sensitivity labels in responses and grounding. Now, this is being extended with capabilities to co-pilot experiences in everyday apps, such as rewriting text in Word, summarizing presentations in PowerPoint, or generating formulas in Excel. So how is this gonna work? There are two key bullet points. One, current file DLP checks. Copilot now respects sensitivity labels on an open document or workbook. If a document has a sensitivity label and a DLP rule that excludes its content from Copilot processing, Copilot actions like summarizing or auto-generating content directly in the canvas are blocked. Chatting with Copilot is also unavailable. Number two, file reference DLP checks. So in this one, when a user tries to reference other files in a prompt, like pulling data or slides from other labeled documents, Copilot checks DLP policies before retrieving the content. If a DLP policy is configured to block Copilot from processing files with that file's sensitivity label, Copilot will show an apology message rather than summarizing that content so no accidental oversharing occurs. This is all brilliant, so let's take a look at how this will work. Now, before I started recording the video, I had a play around with Purview and DLP policies, and I, I couldn't find out how to get Copilot as an option in the locations for selection. It turns out that when you create your new DLP policy, you need to select custom as the type of policy in order to use this feature. So here's our new policy. We've selected custom and custom policy. Let's go next. We'll give this a name, custom policy for Copilot. We can put in a description if we want to as well, and it goes away and validates that. You can assign admin units if you want to. We've covered admin units on this channel before. Go find that video if you want information on that. As you can see in here, we've got lots of selections, but now at the bottom, and this is a preview feature, as the tech community article alludes to, we've got Microsoft 365 Copilot. So let's turn that on. And what you will see is that it automatically grays out the other items. We can only have this as a single selection of location in this policy. So let's go next. And let's go into defining our policy settings and we will create or customize advanced DLP rules. In fact, we have to do this because it is a custom policy. So we've got to define that and go and create our rule. So let's just call this Copilot rule. And let's, uh, I'll just describe it. I'll just put that in just for the sake of it. And we can add in a condition here. So we can put in the content contains sensitivity labels, for example. So let's put in highly confidential uh, as an example there. And then we can add a another condition if we want to for the content contains whatever else. So uh, I'll not do so in this case. We'll just uh, get rid of that one. We'll we'll go with just the the one. And then what we can do is we can choose our actions. And here we go. Rather than the usual sort of thing that we see here for things like Teams or Exchange, where it says restrict or encrypt, we've got this option here, prevent Copilot from processing content. There we go. And what it says when you select it is content that matches your conditions won't be used by Copilot to generate responses. This action is supported for specific content that's processed across various Copilot experiences. And we can learn more about this action here. 
So we've got the checkbox here. We can prevent Copilot from processing the content. We definitely want that to happen. So I'm going to click on save. I'm going to keep this nice and simple. I'm not going to configure any of the other options on this particular policy. Okay, let's go and we will uh, in this instance, turn this policy on immediately. I would usually not do so, but um, here we go. In fact, I can't do that. At this time, the simulation mode is not supported for these locations you selected. Microsoft 365 Copilot Preview. So be aware of that. This is a preview feature. So many organizations don't want to put policies live while those uh, features are in preview. But this is a demo tenant for me, so I'm not worried about that. I'm going to create the policy and let it go out there and do its stuff. So that's going to take some time to create. And uh, what it gives me here are some next steps. We can monitor alerts to review policy matches. We'll probably do that in another video. I'll, I'll let this take effect and I'll go and then actually try and do what the policy is going to hopefully not let me do. And we'll do that in the next video. So there we go. Amazing stuff. Well, there you are. I think that was pretty amazing. A very, very important feature. As Copilot gets cleverer, more advanced, able to leverage more content, I think it's crucial that features like this in DLP, where sensitivity labels are applied, can be used to challenge Copilot in terms of what it can and cannot present to the users putting in those prompts. Very, very necessary. Very good work from Microsoft. I hope it comes out of the preview feature state very soon because I think this is going to be a very important one for clients and users of Microsoft 365 to implement in their tenants. And I always find that organizations are generally more comfortable implementing these things when the preview stage has been completed and it is in full general availability. Let me know if you've had a look into this so far. Have you played with it? What are your pros and cons? What do you think in general? What's your co-pilot experience like at the moment for your day-to-day -day life and in your own organizations? I'll wrap up the video right now we will be back soon with more content i don't know who we is because there's only me but i digress do give me a like if you've enjoyed the content you can subscribe if you want to as well but feel free not to if you prefer not to as well there's a members area you can join and support the channel if you would like to and if you've hated this video give it a thumbs down i really don't mind i uh i'm here to to try and help people where i can and I really do enjoy this. So whatever you want to do is fine by me. Thank you for watching. Wherever you are in the world, do stay safe. Do travel well wherever you may go. Take care of yourself and each other. God, did I just say a Jerry Springer thing there? I think I did, but there you go. Right, bye for now. Take care.